Like, oh my god, PMAC Movies made a new video. It's been a month. PMAC Movies, back. For possibly the final haul video of PMAC Movies. Dramatic. Um, <clears throat> but PMAC Movies here, um, I just got a message in, so it, I lost my train of thought. But, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about why I haven't made a video and things like that. So, um, I basically am not buying very much. I, you know, with, with how things are in the world and, um, with things being made mandatory at work that it's really pretty sickening, um, that things like that are happening. But it's just, I need to make sure my priorities are straight. And the reality is that movies have been my kind of priority for too long. So I'm not buying much anymore. What I, you know, and I'm going to be selling a lot. So that's actually more of what, what I intend to make this channel um, as. It's going to be more of like uh, maybe some reviews and sales you know i'm gonna be selling a lot of stuff not just stuff i um not just trash i want to get rid of but i'm gonna be selling a lot of boutiques you know criterions kinos um severins uh vinegar syndrome box sets i'm gonna be selling a lot of stuff i'm looking i'm looking to really kind of no longer collect movies, you know, I'll probably keep some stuff, stuff that I really like and whatnot. Um, but it's going to be, you know, I'm going to try to make it fair on both sides. It's not, I'm not selling at like good, goodwill or yard sale prices. I'm going to be trying to get a fair amount back for my movies, but at the same time giving you the best deal that you can find. Um, but I kind of got to get that situated more, how I'm going to do that using, you know, using this, using Instagram, using Facebook um, to try to avoid eBay, and then maybe maybe using eBay if necessary too. So I'm gonna be selling a lot, and um, you know, for this haul, you know, I got some nice stuff that I was given, and then I got a bunch of cheap stuff more or less. And this is this, you know, I got a few stacks, and some of it I may have shown off already, but. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much just cheap stuff and and uh let, let's get the coffee brewing. We are going to have some coffee. So let's turn this baby on. We are going to have some coffee. I'm trying to figure out what that message was all about. Okay. I can't believe it's been like over a half hour since she left all right. She just, Charmy just went somewhere and she told me that she got there, but it seems like it was kind of quick. Anywho, I guess I've been doing a bunch of stuff with my breakfast and, and doing the laundry, so time just flew by like that. So we're going to go over what I got here, and then like I said, you know, hopefully you guys can, um, can help the, you know, PMAC drum up some business here on my sales. You know, I am going to be selling a lot of good stuff, out of print stuff. Um, you know, like that Gamera big box set and other, you know, I got criterions that are out of print. I don't have any, um, I don't really have stuff that I'm emotionally attached to and I just need to, um, be spending money wisely. We also got like a lot of, you know, putting a new roof on the house. I just, I just don't really want to be collecting movies anymore. It's not anything that I get um, any sort of deep satisfaction with. I've been telling myself for years that I'm going to better myself, improve myself, try to, you know, cut down on buying crap that isn't used or just sits around. And, and um, so the movies, a lot of the movies have to go. I'm not going to say all the movies, but a lot of movies. Let's take a look um, first at some stuff I was sent. Um, so my good buddy Michael Kempton was, um, <clears throat> what's the word? He was courteous enough and, and uh, very kind enough 
to send me Vengeance Trails, the Arrow Western box set. The four disc limited edition. Um, very awesome that he would that he would buy this and send it to me. It's really, really, it's a really nice box set. And um, very thoughtful of him and kind, generous. That's the word I was looking for. I couldn't think of it. Um, I did watch a couple of these so far. Uh, and God Said to Cain, which I liked more than uh, Massacre Time, which is the Franco Nero one. Um, you know, Franco, I like Franco Nero, like J Django and stuff like that. I didn't really like Massacre Time too much. I mean, it was okay, but I liked In God Said to Cain more. And then we also have Banditos, and my name is Picos. And then we have uh, a booklet. I hear somebody mowing out there. I gotta mow the lawn, too. Gotta get stuff done today, baby. Gotta get stuff done. And then we got... So again, thank you, Michael Kempton. You are the man. You are the man. Um, up next, we got a stack from Joe Masiello, who's been very generous over the years. And um, Joe actually is working on slimming down his collection. He decided to do that. Um, a lot less work for him than it's going to be for me because my I, I got so much stuff. But um, he sent me some cool stuff here. We got We Summon the Darkness with Slippy, which I actually did watch this one. It's pretty, it's pretty decent. Um, nice, like, Friday night movie to watch. I enjoyed it. Pretty entertaining. We got Alexandra Daddario, Johnny Knoxville. Um, yeah, I like this one. Not, you know, not it's not like one of my favorite movies ever, but it was pretty entertaining for what it was. Then we have Ted versus Flash Gordon. So this has both Ted movies and Flash Gordon. I do already have all these. But this is a, a really nice slipcover and a pretty cool set, actually. Alright. So it's a three-disc set. We got both Ted's and then Flash Gordon. Which, Flash Gordon, I, I have the Universal and the, um, the Arrow 4K. But guess what? Coffee's ready. Coffee's ready. Let's see how our coffee turned out here. We kick back and relax here on PMAC Movies. We're not in a hurry. But at the same time, I'm down to only about five five fans, so... No, we still get... I don't know what I get, three, 300 views maybe, but... <clears throat> Anywho. We got some coffee here. Colombian, organic Colombian coffee. What do you think? You're better than P me, PMAC? I might spill this coffee all over everything because I usually try to avoid using this kind of mug when I make these videos. But um, I didn't really think about it this time because probably I honestly don't care about my movie collection as much anymore. <laughs> there are bigger things in life. Then a movie collection. And guess what? You're going to die and you're not going to own any of your movies anyway. He's going dark on us. But that's the reality of it. You're not going to keep any of this crap you own. Um, up next, this is one that I did have, but I got like the red box one. I was glad that he sent me Tenet. Um, I do like to have the Christopher Nolan movies in my collection. So these are ones that like I probably wouldn't sell. So it's probably one that I would keep. Although when I tried watching this movie, I didn't much care for it. But it might be the type of movie where you kind of got to watch it a few times. I didn't even finish it. That might actually be one that I could watch soon. Possibly. We'll see. I enjoyed this one. Tom and Jerry the movie. When when I know it got horrible reviews and people didn't like it. But when you're pulling up a Tom and Jerry movie, like, what do you expect it to be? This is this is fun. I like I like the girl in it. Um, Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, it's got some silliness in it with Michael Pena and uh, Ken Jeong. You know it was uh, you know just kick back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Jeremy's messaging me again. 
All right, this one, I do not have this one. I think it got poor reviews. It is Valley Girl here on Blu-ray here. Is this a remake of a Nicolas Cage one? I think that I think I like the Nicolas Cage one, if that's what it was. Um, we got like another light romantic comedy, maybe? All My Life. Maybe this is more of like a drama, maybe not super light. I'm not sure. But uh, I really don't know anything about this. I think he got it. I think Joe got it originally because Jessica Roth sent it from the Happy Death Day movies. And those are... Those are fantastic movies. Fantastic. This is also a fantastic movie. I really like this one. I recently got one from Grub that was very cheap, but also very beat up. So I was glad that Joe sent me his slipcover copy of Last Christmas. Which he does, uh, you know, part of this is too that he has this all on his uh, digital collection. So he's focusing more on that, save some space and, and whatnot. Last Christmas, this is a really good movie. I like that one a lot. Coffee's got cooled down so I can drink it. I got my supplements over here too. Um, up next, we got Russell Crowe in Unhinged. This one, I mean, it's good for what it is. Russell Crowe plays like a crazy bastard going after this girl. Um, not necessarily one that, that's high up on the list. Not necessarily even one that I necessarily need to keep. Um, but it is nice to have a, a nice shiny slippy copy. I like the look of this one. Another one I got from Redbox. Fatale here from Lionsgate. Hilary Swank. Um, Michael Ealy is in this. Um, like a straight to video kind of Lionsgate joint. Probably on Amazon Prime. I think a lot of these Lionsgate ones are on Amazon Prime. But uh, this has a nice shiny slippy too. They got the nice glossy slippies, does Lionsgate. How's this coffee going? It's hot, but I'll tell you what. It tastes good. Um, up next, we got the original Christmas specials collection with a very nice slip box. Surprisingly, I never have owned these. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which I don't know if I've ever even seen that. You know, Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman, yes. Santa Claus is Coming to Town? I don't remember ever seeing that. The Little Drummer Boy and Cricket on the Hearth. Nice set. How many discs is this? Five Holiday Favorites. One, two, three, four. This is a four disc set. Thank you, Joe Masiello. And then this, I actually like this one quite a bit. Um, I have seen it. So it is The Night Clerk. This is from Paramount. And this has the lovely Anna de Armas and Ty Sheridan is in this. I really enjoyed this movie. I, I tend to like Ty Sheridan movies. And uh, Anna de Armas. I don't know how you couldn't like her. Although you might not like her in that movie. Possibly. Spoiler alert! Um, okay. Some more coffee. It's getting in a decent temperature range. Um... Let's take a look at the Dollar Tree ones. So my buddy Ben um, sent me over a few, and I did get a, a few to send him. I haven't sent them yet, but I will eventually. He sent me Adrift with Slippy. This is the Canadian VVS Films one. I think it was released by Universal here in the U.S. Um, we got the Debt Collector, which I do have the DVD of, but glad to have the Blu-ray. I do like um, to get these Scott Atkins movies. I like some Scott Atkins movies. You know, the Universal Soldier movie that Scott Atkins is in. Very good. Very enjoyable. Very good. Very delicious. Mint chocolate chip. Um, that's Michael Scott. Um, so the Depth Collector. What, else? Oh, uh, what was that one? Hard Target 2. That was, I like that movie. Don't judge me. I like it. Um, and then he also sent me, starring um, Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, 
welcome home. Emily Radikowski. I don't know who she is. What else is Emily Radikowski in? Pretty attractive, I'll, I'll say that, but I don't know what else she's in. So three from Ben. Thank you, Ben, and I'll get those sent out to you um, one day. One day, one day in the future. I got to take a supplement break here, it looks like. You don't want to wait. You're, you know, you're supposed to eat these supplements with food, I think, most of them. So. A little Sheila Jet. Man, that stuff tastes nasty ass if you actually get it on your tongue. A new supplement. Sea moss, which I heard is good. We'll see. You never know. You're pretty much just taking, taking people's word for it. So you see if you get any benefit from it. Hope it don't kill you. Coins on Q10. And then we got Astaxanthin, which is a staple. Astaxanthin definitely helps you um, not get burnt. You know, you can stay out in the sun longer and stuff like that without getting burnt. Um, let's continue on. So we got Righteous Villains, which I did watch most of this, and it actually has some interesting ideas in it. Kind of weird, and then I didn't finish it. Um, Late Quartet, which I have the DVD of, but grab the Blu-ray. Another one I have the DVD of, John Krasinski. And uh, Nobody Walks. What do we got here? A little romantic little romantic joint here. Um, original Gangster, another Echo Bridge. RWBY Volume 2 in a black case. That's neat. Another Echo Bridge, Locus. Probably trash. Um, I think I have one of these Jack Hunter movies. Hopefully, it's not this one. I, I don't think it's this one. Jack Hunter and the Quest for Arkin Hanum's Tomb. Um, I guess there's another one, which I, I didn't realize there was three. I got some DVDs here. I got The Answer. Is this like a foreign, foreign one? I don't know. Looked interesting. We got a little Brandon Ruth in Lost in the Pacific. And then some more Scott Adkins, baby. No Surrender. No Surrender starring Scott Adkins. And then I have a bag down here that I believe just has Dollar Tree stuff. We'll see if there's anything else interesting in here. St. Agatha. I thought this one actually looked pretty good, but haven't watched it yet. Trick or Treat. Looks like it could be interesting. Another Echo Bridge. Another Echo Bridge. Things I Do for Money. That's a nice colorful cover there. The Project. This one, probably pretty terrible. Um, Red Rage. That one feels pretty heavy. They got these nice two disc cases. Voodoo Apocalypse. Another Echo Bridge. And another Echo Bridge. Sawa. Echo Bridge trash, baby. Echo Bridge shit. Baby. Okay. We got Five Fingers for Marseille. This actually gets pretty good reviews here from Uncorked Entertainment. Also, that, that one's from Uncorked. Is this one from Uncorked? Yes, it is. Uh, the League of Legend Keepers. Looks like a fun little adventure movie. We got some Ethan Hawke and Numi Rapace or Rapace. And Mark Strong. He's pretty good, too. Uh, Stockholm. Gotta get some Ethan Hawke and Numi Rapaz. Those are a couple of my favorites. Um, from Studio Ghibli, we got the Red Turtle. The Red Turtle here, animated from Sony Pictures Classics. That's a nice one for a buck. Kukoi, the Boogeyman. Another Uncorked. 
Gotta open that, I guess. Uh, A Night of Horror, Nightmare Radio. I can't remember. I thought maybe I decided not to get this one. I guess I decided again. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. But. Um, and then we got Justice League. Cosmic Clash original movie. For a dollar. I'll get I'll get these some of these Lego movies. I've gotten a few for pretty cheap and they're fairly entertaining. So we'll put those back in the bag. Maybe I should put all these in the bag. I do try to open all the movies I get to check the discs and everything, but who knows when I'll get around to checking those. Another short coffee break here. If you're still tuning in, you got patience. Give yourself a pat on the back. All right. All right. Oh, we got another stack there. Um, I got from Disney Movie Club Luca 4K. They originally sent me the Blu-ray, and I contacted them, sent them a picture, and they sent me the 4K. So I got both. Uh, you know, I got both of them. I didn't have to send the other one back, so that's good. Nice slippy. Um, seen part of the movie. It was okay. Then I got this Girls Rule collection because it went down to like 12 or 13 bucks on Amazon with the code, one, a code for each of the three movies which I probably made almost all my money back there. But I had actually purchased this with Amazon um, Rewards. Um, the only movie that I needed out of this was She's the Man. Um, I do have Clueless with a nice slippy dippy. And I have Mean Girls. I can definitely sell my Mean Girls. That's Clueless with a nice slippy dippy. Oh, the slippy's just so nice. Oh, I'm selling it. Um, get rid of that shit. Get some money back. What are some other things I bought? Brand new! I did get from Gruff for only $3, Evan Almighty. I remember this movie not being good when I saw it at the drive-ins years ago, but I wouldn't mind watching it again at some point. This one was a beat-up copy. Great Outdoors for 3 bucks. The disc actually had scratches on it, and I forgot to contact them about it. And maybe I, I don't know. If I'm going to waste time. It's it's scratched. Like, not good. And then I got Flipper for a few bucks. I might have showed this one off already. That was three. Um, from Goodwill, I may have shown this off to Anger Management for three bucks. I think I did probably show that, actually. So, um, These I don't know that I showed. These are a, a combination of pawn shop ones and... Video game store and Goodwill. So I got Young Ones. This was $3 from the pawn shop. I got Biodome, which was $1.50 from Goodwill. I got Hellbenders 3D, which was $3 from the pawn shop. Also from the pawn shop, All the Boys Love Mandy Lane. I do like Amber Heard. She's good. She's real good. Uh, Robin Williams and Boulevard for 3 um, this was two box A Team season one for a dollar. A Shutter movie called Ruin Me. Another dollar one, The Last Tycoon from Well Go with Chow Yun Fat. And then The House Maid was also a dollar. This is an IFC Films movie that I beard myself. Let's just throw all these in the bag. It'll make them easier to carry. Throw that shit in there. All right. And then we I did get a new release there a few weeks ago when it came out. I got Sundown, The Vampire in Retreat from Vestron. I wanted to make sure I got one with a mint slippy, so I got this for 13 bucks from Walmart. It sold the code for 4. Um yeah, I haven't watched. I like the cover. It looks like it could be a fun one. And then from Big Lots, I got the score for $3. And then I think I had a coupon, so maybe, you know, a couple bucks. I do have the DVD. I didn't love this movie. Um, 
you know, it's got De Niro, it's got Edward Norton, it's got Marlon Brando. It's it's an okay, I believe it was like an okay heist movie. Nothing too great. I was a big Edward Norton fan back in the day. Um, Armistice, this was very cheap, maybe a dollar, maybe less than that. I got Cello, which I actually already owned, but I owned like a used slim case version and I wanted a, a nicer copy. I got The Booth, another Tartan one. And then Cinderella with Slip. There is a few that my uh, I saw people getting Big Lots that my Big Lots didn't have. So maybe I'll find those eventually. Uh, no big deal if I don't. I'm not, you know, like I've said, I'm not really like uh, going to be real huge into, into going around getting everything I can get here like I used to. So take it easy and... And all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to be big into class. I'll still buy movies, I think, um, here and there, probably. But, uh, you know, sell quite a bit, too. We'll see. Let me know if you're interested in, in PMAC movies selling some stuff. And like I said, I'm going to incorporate this. You know, YouTube, I'm going to incorporate my Instagram, and I'm going to incorporate Facebook. That's kind of my plan. And then eBay is like a, a last resort for selling. But, uh... Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on anything I got today. And I thank you for watching PMAG Movies. We will see you again next time. Maybe it'll be in a month. Who knows?